Ladies and gentlemen of the world, we join in silent prayer as the spaceship Columbus approaches re-entry. After almost two years in space traveling from Mars to Earth, the craft was crippled last week when a meteor shower shattered the main drive and this depleted the Columbus's oxygen supply. We have you marked. Prepare for re-entry. Astronaut Jackson and cosmonauts Kozlo, Petrovich, and Yamuri have had to put their life support systems on rock bottom maintenance, leaving Commander Zachary Stone no to pilot the craft and make the emergency repairs. The question on the minds of everyone at the space agency and the rest of the world is, will Stone's jerry-rigged propulsion system hold up? Computer switch to manual now. Go manual. The Columbus is now entering Earth's gravity. This is the key time the retro rockets must fire. Columbus, we confirm manual override. Prepare for retro fire in three, two, one. It's firing. We have ignition. But the good. Columbus has braked successfully. All it has to do now is coast home. Leave the drive to us. Commander will correct course with ground telemetry. Thank God. Congratulations, Commander Stone. We can now celebrate the heroics of the young American without whom five lives would have been lost and perhaps our future in space would have been jeopardized. The man of the hour, whether here in Metroplex or in Moscow, welcome home, Zachary Stone. True humanitarian, Satori san. You often remind me of Jomo Kenyatta. And I very much admire Philman san. So, our blood is now mixed, Aniki. The property is yours to occupy and will be fully furnished within the week. We all try to change 
change the world in our small way, don't we? It is man's purpose in life. I'm all celebrated out, E.B. Where's my family? Hmm. I've always been here for you, haven't I, Zach? E.B., seeing you at the ceremony was a breath of fresh air. But a man doesn't spend two years in space looking forward to coming home to an adopted uncle. Things happen in life, my boy. Personal situations many times have to take a back seat to professional obligation. Fredrickson, do shut up. Dad's, uh... He's gone, isn't he? He was in an automobile accident shortly after your Mars ship took off. Why didn't anybody say something? Because they were afraid that the news would... would alter your performance and jeopardize your mission. Okay. Where's Frank? Somebody talk. Gentlemen, Frank Jr. disappeared in the line of duty, sir. But a trail of computer evidence showed that he was a cop on the tape, right? Computers. They screw up your checking account and then accuse the world's best cop of corruption. Do you believe Frank went bad? No. I'm here with an honest-to-God astronaut. We foul clerks only get to meet celebrities and their bios when they die. Of course, if anybody found out, I'll let you see all this. Probably see my bit up there, too. Wow. Your brother actually worked in the crime zone? Bigger pay, bigger risks, or so I heard. Yen to help put a poor girl through college? I don't have any money. See, I've been off the planet for a while. And I thought I'd heard every lame excuse in the world. Oh, my God. 
hey, I saw you on TV last night. So what's God's gift to the media doing here in the sewer? Comparing it to Mars? My opinion, Mars wins. I'll give you a lift back to the real world. Just remember, if you're gonna play explorer in this part of town, you better learn the rules of the jungle. The police academy isn't any happier to have you than NASA is to lose you. <laughs> Not asking for any favoritism, E.B. I have to prove myself, just like any other rookie. Your father didn't want you following in his footsteps, you know that. Dad's gone now, and our name's in the mud. Now, he wouldn't have wanted it that way either. I doubt you'll clear Frank Jr. by walking his beat. He gave up a lot for me. The least I can do is try. You know where I'll be if you need me. You know where I'll be. Huh. Training sequence initiated. Fire at will. training sequence initiated. Sorry, Oyobun. 
we lost Pisces Electronics to a higher bidder. Hunterford Industries again. Business is a gamble, isn't it? Just like life. <laughs> Examination sequence initiated. Performance evaluation, excellent. E.B. Hungerford has opposed us in so many negotiations, nay? The man is a power-hungry megalomaniac. Sometimes I wish he did not exist. You'll have to forgive me, Madam Prime Minister. I must go. I'm very late for an extremely important engagement. Basis. Damn telephones make a man late for his own funeral. Barging in here, you Neanderthal. Hunger for Industries. Number 365 02 007. 
FX Spinner. FX Spinner? You're Spinner? No, I just look like him. Of course I'm Spinner. All right. Please. Thank you. Now, bozo, who the heck are you? You know, it's really nice to see a guy who doesn't watch television all the time. I'm Zach Stone. Zach Stone? Yeah. Hey, man, wait, just tell me. Did you see any fine little green sisters while you was down on Mars? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What the heck are you doing down in the crime zone? Well, E.B. was supposed to be at my graduation from the police academy. And he didn't show. Well, he's not in the building. I already checked. Just came in to do some late night work and so the door trashed. Actually, there's one place I didn't look. What is this stuff? Some sort of genetically engineered plasma enzyme. No missed age for two years. If anything's happened to him. Mr. H. B. He pulled me out of the gutter. a chance at life. Whoever killed him must have just left. Maybe I can still find him. So what are you going to wind up as? A perforated corpse or oatmeal? Neither. I'm gonna get that guy. We're not talking a regular guy, bro. We're talking enough firepower to lay down one of the world's best security systems and turn that car downstairs into mashed potatoes. You know what I've seen since I got home? This whole world has gone to hell. No, I'm sorry, I didn't survive a burned out power source and zero gravity to watch everybody I care about die. Oh, so you think you survived Mars because you were so smart, huh? No, you had technology on your side. And I'm not talking these tranquilizer guns that the cops use on the bad guys these days. You had science working for you. You had Mr. H's spacesuit, and that made you superhuman. Where's the suit now? We're on Earth, remember? Not in Kansas, Dorothy. Come on, man. It sure as hell beats going after these guys in my underwear. Where's the suit? What you need is the new suit. What new suit? The one we were working on for your next Mars mission. Major parts of it are reinforced. And the new electronics give the exoskeleton muscles some real kick. All right. Frank. 
said you were dead. I had to go in there, didn't I, kid? No, oh, Frank. Please. Frank. Frank! Chilly most. You're back. You gotta ease up, though, man. I'm gonna pull out my expensive tubes. Where am I? The beautiful Hungerford Industries Infirmary. Kind of nice, don't you think? Eh? Don't think. You suffered a pretty good bonk on the cabeza. You know that? Evie, Evie. Still dead. Your butt almost went with him. Except I'm a people person, know what I mean? Couldn't stand the thought of being alone. Thanks, man. You're gonna make it. Come on, Zach. Couple more lefts, couple more rights, you'll be able to do the whiplash. <laughs> oh. Thanks. <laughs> Almost. So, uh, your folks left you in the city to what, make it or break it, right? That's right, and I broke it. Ended up in stir. The cop who bagged me, decided I had a brain, donated me to science. Thus, here I am. You know, I find it uh, surprising that Hungerford would risk taking in a parolee. Hey, Zach, I'm not just a parolee. I didn't mean anything by that, really. Besides, cop put in a good word for me. Maybe you know him. He's got the same last name as you. Stone? Frank Stone? There's no way Frank could kill Hungerford, man. I wouldn't have thought he could kill me either. But he sure came close. You sure it was him? Hey, man, I know my own brother. OK. And do me a favor. Don't tell anybody till I'm sure. All right. So, you and me are all that's left of the family now. Yeah, I guess so. You know, with E.B. gone, what's going to happen to this company? It's giving me a real pause for thought. It'll probably be ripe some big takeover by some big cheeses like Panasonic, GTE, Satori Enterprises. Tail Satori, huh? You know, before he was public hero number one, my dad put him away from masterminding a series of savings and loan frauds. When you see Officer Stahl, tell him I'll never forget him. some way we could hide E.B.'s death from the public. Here's three day peace mission to Zaire. And in other news, the seated storm delivered over eight inches of much needed rain to the Midwestern Dust Bowl. I don't know why the media aren't carrying the news, Oyo. Our reliable sources say that Hungerford was murdered. One must never wish for the death of another, even an enemy. Let us put aside our personal aims for the moment. It is time to initiate my program. And the meeting with the international leaders? 
due time. They must first come to realize the great need they have for those of us who are wiser. After all, who else can do their thinking for them? It sure looks like it. Hey! Aren't you... A new officer that just signed up for this precinct. Yeah. Name's Miranda Deutschman. Hey, Zach Stone. Hey, look what we've got here. The original Martian chronicler. What are you doing here? Hey, working here. Hey, All right. Everybody make like you work for a living. Let's talk in my office, where you're a little less distracted. Is that why you pushed your way through the academy? So you could reopen your brother's case? Frank was assumed murdered, right? Well, unsolved cases are still ongoing. That's been my understanding. Frank's death was a real blow to this department. Regardless of what they're saying now, we lost a fine detective and a good friend. But there have been 10 rapes reported so far this morning. And God knows how many burglaries, robberies, and active crimes are going down while we stand here talking. What if there's new evidence that Frank is still alive? There are no glory hounds here, Junior. Remember that. Remember this, too. I've got as much confidence in you as I've got in the government. And I stopped voting for them 10 years ago. <laughs> You're right. Forget it. You're right.
face of us. Move it. Move it. Turn around. all the obsolete software. It's just not enough money to pay for the good stuff. Come on, give me a break. Okay. Yep. There have been vandals attacking property all over the zone. Hmm. All the buildings they hit are owned by a guy named Quentin St. Germain. It's weird, huh? Yeah, a yeah, real coincidence. Check it out, huh? All eyewitnesses at each attack reported gang types. Another coincidence, huh? Thanks. Hmm. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah. Uh, a message came while you were out. You want to hear it? Sure. <sighs> we get all the rejects. What's the matter? That was a message from a ghost. And so FX insisted that the first thing a man would crave after two years in space would be white meat. <laughs> Where is he? He's in there. I programmed in Mr. H's personality, achievements, intelligence, voice and speech patterns, it's the next best thing to having them here. Almost. Hey, you solved the corporate takeover problem, didn't you? The way I figure it, Mr. H spends so much time in his private office that folks don't expect to do anything but hear from him anyway. Spinner, who really designed that suit that I demolished? Well, Mr. H had gotten a little too deep into the stock market and politics, and he didn't believe there'd really be a second Mars mission, so I did it with my own little hands. However, it was not designed for street use, and it was not designed to take a direct hit. How long would it take for you to uh, make another one? Not long, unless you're in a hurry. I'm in a hurry. I work faster. Can you modify this for street use? You mean like triple deck CD? More reinforcement. More weaponry. You're still after Frank or whoever he was. Can you do this? Do you realize what you're offering me here? A chance to out Hungerford. Hungerford. Impossible. Don't bet on it. You're right. I've had a real run of bad luck with those inner city properties. Know what's behind it? Someone's trying to destroy me, that's obvious. Could be anyone. Dave Concord, for example. How about the, the Regis Company? And there's Marge Crocker and that bum Bill Needles. Who are these people, Mr. St. Germain? My enemies. And they're not all, believe me. Here's a list. 
These are realtors. Of course. Trust me, son. I'm the only honest landman in town. Yeah. We'll check in this for you. Those are really nice. Pets. Zach, mm -hmm. man, this police work is so exciting. It reminds me of why I chose science. Yeah, which part exactly? <laughs> Come here, Fluffy. <laughs> what a slime. You bug the slime? Yeah, he's talking to him. Say goodbye to Daddy. Who's Fluffy? Who knows? Who cares? Nice, Fluffy. Zach, this thing belongs in the Smithsonian. <laughs> well, first it was my dad's, then my brother's, now she is mine. Yeah, well, you just don't see a class act the wheels around like this. Hey, you're not gonna ruin my upholstery, right? You want a burglar proof or not? Just watch the upholstery, okay? See, ya, amigo. Gently. Gently. Done. Shut the door. <laughs> no. Don't thank me. No. Please. Just refer to my electrokinetic deflector system as brilliant. And while we're on me, I even put one on your suit. The torch of the Bronx and property tonight. The place is overrun with. Overrun with what? With what? You can't just leave me hanging like this. 13275 is the only property St. Germain has on Bronson Street. I thought you said we were going to look at the suit. Later. Well, the way you drive, there may not be a later. Officer 999, I need a backup on Bronson Street. Do you read me? Central. Do you read me? Cheap Kremlin crapola. This is it, Zach. The perfect opportunity to test the suit. It'll save your skin. I hope. Man, I don't need the suit. Oh, I didn't know you were wearing your asbestos sneakers. Or maybe you don't mind being a shake and bake triplet's main course.
hell is he? I don't know, but I bet he sure can't burn. Come on, hot stuff. Show me what you got. My client doesn't accept Franks. Well, who knows how long it'll be before the frogs bow under to Germany anyway. You tell them if they want the property, they're going to have to... What? Close deal. I didn't order the destruction. I swear it. I, I can't even collect the insurance money. I, I'm just a front for the real owners. Who is he? He looks hungry. I think he needs something sweet for dessert, don't you? Satori. Who? Satori. Thank you. You are my eyes. And my ears now, right? Okay. Um, work with me here. I'm just a little excited. Boy, you know, <laughs> this is your idea of a surprise party. It's not happening. Don't give me a hard time about the blindfold. It wasn't my idea. It was mine. <laughs> Mr. H. Done up wild style. This is humiliating. I'm a bloody cartoon. Oh, quit your griping. It gives you more personality. I can't believe it. Reincarnated as Fred Flintstone. And Zack. He's the ultimate computer hack, too. Mr. H, show me before you tap out of the FBI computer in Washington. Careful, man. That, that's illegal. I beg your pardon. Decatron 16 volunteered the information. <clears throat> there appears to be a cabal of international businessmen engaging in acts of terrorism across America with the objective of undermining our nation's confidence and eventually overthrowing the government. Oh, is that all? Their leader is Teo Satori. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Perhaps this will. You see, I have information on your brother as well, from my own memory bank. Zach, Frank was knee deep in an unofficial investigation into Satori's business dealings. He didn't like what he found. Was Satori involved with Frank's disappearance? This comes from neither a computer tap nor my memory bank. It's an opinion. In a word, yes.
Isn't he wonderful? Just what we need to protect us in these violent times. The people are coming down very hard on the crime zone, seeing all this violence. I know. I am very sensitive to public opinion. It will polarize even more as the suburbs become more dangerous. The suburbs? There's no crime in the suburbs. Things change, Jilani san. We're short 2,000 yen. You promised me three men. Only two are still alive. We still get all the money. Afraid not. What are you doing here? You're moving uptown. Yeah. The Joint Chiefs of Police are ready. You are authorized to enter. Are you there? Please take your position on the solicitor's square. You may address us. My name is Zach Stone. We know who you are, or we would not break protocol to enable you to address us. It's about my brother, Frank. We are fully aware of your oldest sibling's case, and I do not believe it to be worth pursuing at this time. Please leave the solicitor square. No, no, please listen to me. Frank Stone Jr. was a great cop, an honest cop. You see, he was onto a bunch of scams run by Teo Satori, and Satori had him discredited to protect his public image. Do you have evidence that Teo Satori had your brother killed? No. Not yet. I don't even know if he's... I mean, I don't know what happened to Frank. Teo Satori is an internationally known philanthropist. And he is respected by public figures as high up as the President of the United States. The case is closed. Why won't you listen to me? What kind of country is this where innocent men are thrown to the dogs and criminals become heroes? If Satori is on the streets, this city will burn! A woman's secret weapon is her femininity. It's more lethal than the biggest gun or the coldest knife. Clothes make the woman. They enhance her femininity. Special clothes. Pretty clothes. My clothes. You don't understand the power of a woman. She can accomplish miracles if she puts her mind to it. A woman can win wars. She can lead a nation. Or she can start wars. Just because she's a woman. Mm. This lasagna is great. How's the prime rib? Oh, hey, tofu's tofu. Be happy to know I'm on top of our problem. Oh, yeah. Which one? Accessibility. Yeah. Example. You're in Eighth and Eastwood, and I'm in the lab with the suit. What do you do? Let me guess. I click my heels together twice and say something like, there's no place like home, and I'm there, right? Not exactly. However, you will dig my solution. <clears throat> our solution. Mr. H is in mine. Man, don't tell me that computer's not telling me what to do. <laughs> Can't get him to shut up. <laughs> He's even negated his own off switch. Mr. H 
is back. Press the star if you need the suit. <laughs> then click your heels together and muddy your mumble jumble. Avon calling. So you found out going over my head wouldn't help. What I'm finding out is that Frank's disappearance is tying me to enough evidence to nail Teo Satori for life. So you think you've got something on Satori? Something and a half. Well, why didn't you say so before? Some despicable gang from the Precinct 33 area has oozed into a suburban housing development of 36A and has taken a woman and a child hostage. Thank you very much, Captain Frost. You're certainly containing your local. I think I'm going to head out before I'm witness to an act of technological violence. with Article 13, Item 4A. The only strategy for dealing with a hostage situation is to wait the villains out. I don't care about your damn article. Send a man in. Rules were designed to save lives. I thought cops were. From now on, the lions will be feeding on the sheep citywide. The lions will be feeding on the sheep citywide. Press the star if you need the suit. Are you going to release the hostages? Well, I've been talking to Katie here. That's her name, Katie Maxwell. Seems Katie has a dream. That's right. She wants to do something with her life. Cute, huh? Katie wants to be a dancer. She's been dancing since she was six years old.
something was to happen to those pretty little legs of ours. Then she got really hurt and couldn't even walk anymore. Huh? Wouldn't that be a shame? have a six-foot white knight in full battle dress flying around on a souped-up motorcycle working for the police department. This is Derek Malenko reporting live from the Bay Hill Entertainment Mall. We're here getting reactions to the appearance earlier today of an unknown crime fighter. Excuse me, uh, Senator, what do you think of this new super vigilante? The Senator declines to comment. Back at 11 with another update on Metroplex's new super force for Dating a while. senators, huh? No wonder she's in charge of the precinct. Hmm. Don't underestimate Captain Frost. She's still out on the streets, and that makes her different than most big wigs. And besides, who are we to pass judgment on who a person goes out with? Don't tell me there's a rule in the manual against cops fraternizing. No. Just sort of a mother's warning. Never get involved with a cop because they have a nasty habit of getting killed just when you get attached to them. I wouldn't want to argue with anybody's mother. <laughs> Then there's this problem cops have with ignoring the telephone. A bomb. A corner bucket. Isn't that cute? 
you. When times get tough, you'd be the best pickpocket in town. Do you have any idea what you've interrupted in order to give me this little demonstration? Just tell me. Is she fine? Well, then, if I work nights, so do you. Oh, come on, man. And don't give me none of this two years in space stuff, because even then, you got more action than me. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Watch this. Just what do you think you're doing? Sorry, Mr. H. <laughs> I was just trying to give Zack Man here the rundown on how I've, uh, how we've modified the nightstick. By all means. Let's show him the rest. Ready, Zack? Let's do it. Okay. Tip is a torch, so watch where you point it. Just above the torch is an electronic prod. This shoots mace. Great if anybody tries to rape you. That was my idea. Thanks a lot. This is the homing rocket. Good for moving vehicles. This is the targeting display, in case the suit needs a backup. What's that? Carbide blade in case you encounter any really tough steak. <laughs> That's the mag light, which is great when you go camping. And this here is a radio, in case you need me. Yeah. The name's Bond. James Bond. <laughs> Listen, FX, this has been great, and I'm really gonna need this. See ya! Wait a minute, Zach. Wait a minute. I haven't even had time to show you the neato bulletproof armor for the bike. Great, I'll come by tomorrow and we'll bounce some spit wads up. Mr. Age. I'm afraid you've got your work cut out for you, Zach. You've got to master these devices tonight. <laughs> come on, E.B., you gotta give me a break here. See, I've got a lady back at my place and... The life we save may be yours, my boy. You wanna call her a cat? So Sergeant by the book Anderson scored big brownie points with the police commission last night. <laughs> Typical Burby cop. Sure. 20 years behind a desk. No action heavier than throwing a shoe at a tomcat. Just talk, talk, talk. Hey, speaking of talk, it's my turn to see you on TV last night. And? Glamorous. You were really glamorous. That's not what I meant. <laughs> what is your opinion of the mysterious Zoni Raider? I don't really have an opinion. Who do you think he is? Probably some citizen who's tired of sitting back watching the bad guys drag this city into the garbage. You know who I thought he might be? No. Brother Frank. It's crazy, I know it. I used to go out with him, and you know that, don't you? No. No, I didn't. Well, you are bound to find out sooner or later. I figured it was just better coming from me. It's better knowing that. I'm not the only one feeling bad about Frank. No, you're not. You've never done what I've diet. Now's your chance. Metroplex leaders are meeting with Leo Satori to discuss Mr. Satori's concerns for our crime life at stake.
I don't have to fill you in on our rising crime rate. All of us are only too aware that this area has been plagued by an onslaught of violence that simply cannot be stemmed. <laughs> You, Slick, get over here. And line her back. Nice work. At least you can finish something. Hey, look, I tried to get back last night. I just I couldn't. Well, that's the third rule about cops. When they lie, there's another woman. Boy, you ever lie. I would like to introduce Teo Satori. Our government is clearly trying to protect us, but is falling miserably short of the mark. What we need is a unifying leader, a man who can guide us out of these difficult times. And who do you propose as this leader, Mr. Satori? The esteemed Satori-san is too humble to answer your question, madam. Personally, I propose a man already well known for his beneficence, Teo Satori. What specifically is your solution to handling the perpetrators of all this violence? The insurgents will simply be relocated to a new setting in the wonderful but largely unpopulated state of Nebraska. Attacking Satori International. Send reinforcements. Let's go. Hey, man, I want to talk to my lawyer. Hey, shut up!
said cops die on you. I didn't know I meant me. Come on, Miranda. Does that ring a bell from my childhood? Haven't seen it for a while, though. What is it? Some kind of private security bird? Yep. And I bet I can guess whose it is, too. See, check out uh, who's running the McNamara Coal Fusion plant these days. That must be psychic. In case you're interested, Stone, looks like Miranda's gonna pull through. Great. Thanks for telling me. The two civilians that were hit are still in critical condition. Yeah, it's too bad that bullet that hit Satori was so far off. Still going after that one, huh? All the way. do with Patty Pretty, her gang, and the other displaced insurgents, Oyoban? Many years ago, the Indians of the Sioux Nation agreed to be relocated from their homes on the Great Plains by the American government to a reservation in the Southwest. It was a very difficult journey, and many perished along the way. And when they got there? Why, there wasn't any reservation. The government had neglected to set anything up, to provide any housing, make the area habitable. What happened to the Indians? They died.
tried their best, but nothing can stop me. So, you're a one-man army, eh? Too bad you don't work for me. I work for Good Satori. That counts you well. Harsh words, Tomodachi. But words are not warriors.
Firegarden.